Welcome to Warm Bristle Studios Painting Masterclass. Today we're going to be painting this 90s classic Space Marine Power Sword using our Warm Bristle Studio painting handle. Let's get to it. So today we're going to go through painting a blue uh, 90s classic Space Marine Power Sword, uh, which you can see here. So we've already painted this side of the blade. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to turn it over and repeat the process on the opposite side. Okay, so to start we're just going to paint the blade uh, in Sotec Green. So we're just going to cover the blade, nice thin coats, just trying to keep the brush moving nice and smooth. And once we've done one coat, we will let that dry. And then we might repeat those coats two or three times just to get a nice even layer. So we're just applying our first highlight to, uh, to the power sword with Temple Guard Blue. Uh, you can see here that I've got my Warm Bristle Studio handle. Uh, I can grip quite comfortably around the handle. We can move the blade down at a side angle like so. And we're just going to apply this uh, checkered pattern to the blade with the Temple Guard Blue. So we're just going to block in some areas where we want some of that Temple Guard Blue highlight to be. So it doesn't have to be super neat, but try and keep things as neat as you can. So we've got our check pattern uh, marked out now with our Temple Guard Blue. So what we're going to do now is just blend those two layers together. So we're going to take a 50-50 mix of Temple Guard Blue and Sotec Green. And then we're going to do uh, what I would describe almost as like a feathering technique. Um, so what we're going to do here, so hopefully you can see nicely on the camera, I'm going to get the tip of the brush and I'm just going to drag the paint across the transition like so and this will just start to blend those layers together And just need to be patient with this. We're just going to repeat that process backwards and forwards till we get a nice smooth blend. So we've just blended those layers using um, that kind of feathering technique that I described. So just a bit of back and forth between the Temple Guard Blue and the Sotec Green uh, and it's starting to look quite smooth now but what we're going to do is just add a little bit of glazing uh, with the Temple Guard Blue. So with the glazing you need to mix roughly uh, one part paint to two parts water, one part medium. Uh, so you have a very thin, uh, very semi-translucent paint. So you can see here uh, it's almost, almost like water type consistency uh, and the great thing about our warm bristle studio handle is that we can position uh, the blade at that angle keep a nice comfortable hold uh, and then we can sweep sideways uh, towards the blend so you always want to start uh, at the darker area and then sweep towards the brighter area so we're just going to do some of those nice glazes going up to those brighter areas And you want to be really patient with this. Uh, you're going to let do this, let it dry, and then maybe repeat this process several times just to get a nice kind of smooth blend and transition. Okay, so we've just done those few layers of glazing, um, and the blade is looking quite smooth now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go through the next highlight, um, and for this we're just going to go straight to glazing. And we're going to use a mixture 50-50 of Bayeroff Blue and uh, Temple Guard Blue. So we're going to start um, a, a little bit closer in towards uh, the brighter area. 
uh, but again similar principles we're just going to sweep to that bright spot so you start in the darker area and sweep towards the brighter area so we're just going to keep repeating that process until that's nice and smooth. Try to let it dry, try not to overwork it. You can blister the layers of paint underneath if you try and keep working the paint too much. So you're better off just applying it, letting it dry and then re-going again. And every time you keep going over the same area you will also build the intensity of the colour um, the brightness. So we've just gone through those uh, layers again. Now what we're going to do is just go up with uh, pure bare off blue. And the same principle as before, we're just going to glaze into that bright spot. Try not to overwork the paint. Okay, so you can see those layers now are starting to build up quite nicely. It's looking quite smooth. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just add a little bit of ivory with the Bayer Off Blue. Uh, probably about 75% Bayer Off Blue, 25% ivory. Again, we're going to make that up to a nice glaze consistency. And then we're just going to sweep up um, to those brightest points. So you tend to find as you get brighter, it's even more important to keep the paint quite nice and uh, thin. So again, just got that nice comfortable grip on the handle, got it turned nicely at that 90 degree angle so we can then get those nice brush strokes. So again, just going to go towards the brightest points. Try not to overwork it. Again, don't panic if it doesn't look how you want it at the first pass. You need to kind of slowly build, build this up and get the blends right. So best just to leave that to dry now and then we'll come back and just neaten it up and, and keep going over the glazes. Be patient, um, just keep glazing it and it'll eventually start to smooth out. So you can see there we've just blended out those uh, brighter highlights and we're starting to get that really nice contrast now on the sword, uh, which is what we want with that kind of non-metallic metal type effect, but also with this blue power sword. Uh, so what we're going to do now is just go a little bit brighter, so just a touch more ivory. So I'm just going to add a little bit more brighter ivory, just right towards the end. Again, just that glaze consistency. And just gently glazing into the centre here, just to build a little intensity. And got a nice comfortable hand grip with the handle and hopefully you can see that nicely so you can see that those blends now look quite nice um, so what we're going to do is just try and boost the contrast a little bit by glazing a little bit of a darker color into the shadow so for this we're using Stegeden scale green and what we're going to do is start from the slightly not quite right in the center of the of the white but kind of where you get to the mid-tones um, and then we're going to glaze from there into the, the darker area. So always glazing towards the darkest point and the same underneath and you can already see that that's boosted the contrast. So we'll let that dry, maybe do a couple of glazes there and then we're ready to edge highlight it. Okay, so we just uh, glazed in some of those darker tones into the shadows and we've got a really nice contrast now on the blue power sword. So what we're gonna do now is just go through to edge highlight everything. Um, when you're edge highlighting, you don't want to go straight for a really, really bright color. The temptation is just to go straight with white um, and it's really difficult to get a nice, clean, crisp edge. So what we want to do is start with the mid-tone color. So in this case, it's gonna be Temple Guard Blue. Uh, and we're going to do all our edge highlighting with that and then we're going to slowly build that up with Bayer Off Blue and then uh, to Bayer Off Blue with a bit of ivory. So again, great thing about our Warm Bristle Studio handle uh, is again we can just tilt this 
uh, into the position that we want, keep a really nice comfortable grip on the handle uh, and then we can do our edge highlighting across the top of the blade. So here we want a, a small amount of paint on the, on the brush. We don't want the paint watered down at all, we actually want quite a thick consistency when we're doing edge highlighting because it will make it a bit easier to do. Uh, and then we're just going to, at about a 45 degree angle, just run the side of the brush down the edge, trying to keep nice even pressure. So nice edge done there, and we might repeat over that a few times. So we're going to flip our handle round so we've got the blade in the opposite direction, but again, got a nice comfortable grip on our painting handle. And then we can do the top edge of the blade here. Again, that 45 degree angle. Just come and again, the great thing about a handle is that you can position your hands so you can support them on top of each other. So it's really important uh, to have good hand-to-hand -hand support for painting really straight edges and lines. If your hands are separated like this, it makes it very difficult to paint precisely. Uh, when you can keep your hands together, it makes the process a lot easier for, for painting straight lines. So we're just going to start in the bottom area and we're just going to draw down that centre line. So this just gives us a little bit of a line to follow when we go back with a brighter colour. So we're just going to get our bare off blue and just go through the same process. So we're going to position our handle so that we can do nice crisp edge highlights and just 45 degrees running across the edge of the blade there. Trying to keep nice even pressure and we're going to turn it around so we can edge highlight the other edge of the blade. So you can hopefully see that uh, starting to look quite nicely now. Um, in that effect. So we're just going to go through okay and there you have it a blue 90s classic uh, power sword for Space Marine. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video uh, if you have please leave a like uh, you can leave comments for future videos uh, if you'd like to do that and I'll see what I can do regarding those uh, and also more importantly don't forget to subscribe.